guys, so my name is Hannah, and today I'm going to be telling you a story. So this is a story about when my family went to Italy and we got robbed. So this, I am 22 now, this was when I was a, let's see, I think a junior in high school, maybe a sophomore, it was a while ago. So we figured, my parents saved up for six years because they wanted to take the whole family, all four of us. And we went to Tuscany, Venice, Cinque Terre, a bunch of different places for like a few days each. And what happened was we were leaving, let's see, I believe we were leaving Rapallo, Italy, and we were taking a rental car to Tuscany. But on the way to Tuscany, we wanted to stop at the Leaning Tower of Pisa because it was on the way and we've always wanted to go there. So back to the story, we made it to the Leaning Tower of Pisa and I was taking a picture of my mom and she was laying on the ground pretending to kick the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Meanwhile, she told my dad to hold her purse. My dad didn't really want to hold it, he just put it next to his foot because another couple asked him to take their picture. So he was busy, so he had it right next to his foot. After we took the picture of my mom, my mom says, okay, where's my purse? I'll take it back now. It was gone. My dad looked down, he was like, it was just here. None of us had any clue where it went. We all started panicking and frantically looking around to see it because it was a light pink color, like a tan and pink, so it would have been easy to spot. But we could not see it anywhere. It was very busy. There was a lot of tourists around. And we had my mother and my passports in there. We had her phone, our credit cards. Ugh, what else? A lot of important stuff. Oh, the rental car keys. So we were basically trapped and freaking out. My mom started panicking and crying because she thought we were going to get stranded there. My brother was checking trash cans. And um, we finally found the cops. They were on like bicycles. They didn't... I feel like a lot of cops have like actual motorcycles or cars here in the US, but in Italy they ride bikes. So, I mean not all of them, but where we were that's what they do. So we were trying to tell them what happened and meanwhile my dad doesn't know much Italian. So he's like signing to them, trying to tell them what happened and they're like laughing. And then finally they understand what we're trying to say and they told us it happens basically every day. There are people that live there that try to find tourists that look easy to steal from or they just notice in the moment like people putting their bag down or things like that and like people steal stuff almost every day which is not a good thing so they told us to keep searching and they would search as well so I think maybe an hour or two went by and we could not find the bag anywhere so we go to the rental car because my dad's cell phone was locked inside the rental car right and my mom's phone was stolen and my brother and I didn't take ours because you have to pay extra for international fees. So once we got to the car we realized it was locked and we couldn't even call anyone on my dad's cell phone. So the cops had to call a um, like a AAA kind of company that's out in Italy and they had to break into our car rental car and we had to pay them to do so just to get my dad's phone. And I think soon after that the cops came back and they found my mother and my passport and the rental car keys had been dumped in the grass somewhere on the outskirts of the Leaning Tower of Pisa like park. So we were so relieved also we thought it was just our luck that we got the rental car keys back the second we had just opened the car and paid them to break into the car. So it was a whole mess and we were all just so stressed and tired from hours of searching that we decided we were going to go like to a spa the next day and relax and um, first we when we got to Tuscany we had to go to the police department there and we had to file a report and we were there for hours like trying to figure it out because we don't know Italian so it was kind of hard with the language barrier but for the most part a lot of people in Italy know English at least some of it because there's so many tourists there like waitresses and people have to know it so we were okay with that and then we went to I think a sulfur spa so it's a natural pool outside it kind of smells bad but it's like natural 
sulfur rocks that are heating the pool and it was just so relaxing. Definitely what we needed after that. But I definitely suggest, no matter where you're traveling, that you don't leave your bag. Don't put it anywhere. Like, keep it by your side. Even if you just have a wallet in your pocket, a phone in your pocket, keep them in your front pocket because people are also pickpocketers are amazing at stealing stuff without you even realizing. Like, you can watch videos on it, you don't even realize, and they've stolen, like, your wallet and your phone out of your pocket. So even that isn't safe. Maybe get one of those fanny packs that kind of hides under your shirt so you can't even see it. Um, if I was to travel again, that's what I would do instead. Because we definitely learned our lesson after this. So I hope you guys liked this story time. If you'd like to see more, I can do a few more. I can't think of any at the moment, but there's probably a lot that I have. Maybe stuff from college, just stuff that happened with friends, I don't know. How I broke my arm back when I was younger, there's lots of stuff I could talk about. So if you liked this video, make sure to subscribe and hit the thumbs up and leave a comment if you like. Um, leave a comment on something crazy that's happened to you before when you were traveling. I'd love to hear your guys' stories too. So, thank you again for watching and have a great rest of your week.